So the main reason why I wanted to participate and for our team to participate in Bike to the Beach is because uh, my brother has autism. One of my best friends from home who graduated in my class has autism as well and it's always been a big part of my life. And to be a part of such a great cause and raise that money for autism, which is a type of disability that still has a lot of research and work to get into, I thought was a perfect opportunity and a reason for our team to get closer. We obviously had a really personal connection uh, to the to the cause and, and being able to have Riley's family there at the end was incredible but I think that that really helped all of us understand and put in perspective kind of why we were why we were doing it which was great. Coach Morton has just kind of seen, seen us do it the last couple years and she wanted to you know increase her team's fundraising and she just kind of came to me one day and was like what is this what do you do what and I you know explained it to her and she says I think that would be a, a great thing. I think it's extremely important. I think that's one thing that Boston University has taught me is um, one of our core structures. We find ways uh, to help out our community constantly. And it's just not based on like our coaches bringing up ideas. Our players get really involved in finding new opportunities to help out with the community and just finding causes that are near and dear to our heart. It started probably six or seven years ago. It started with our inaugural class. And one of them, Patrick Myers um, from the DC area, he was connected to a group he had done the ride before. He said, hey, what do you think about getting the team involved? And, uh, you know, kind of pitched it to me. And, and I thought it was a great idea is, is to kind of get involved with autism. And so the first year, Pat and a bunch of his buddies, it was about 10 upperclassmen got involved and, and they did this 100 mile ride from Boston. So uh, it went so well the first year, we said, hey, why don't we just make this a, a team initiative? Uh, and that's, that's how it started. I think it, it was a great opportunity. Uh, we've gotten a chance to see men's lacrosse participate in Bite to the Beach the last few years. And both Ryan approached me over the summer as well as Riley Kokoruda, who is a senior for us, uh, and asked if we would be interested in, in joining them, which, which I think kind of both, both of them approaching us, I think we, we really had a group that was excited to, to hop on and join them. Finishing it was just so rewarding and like to see my brother there was just like incredible even though he was like why am I here like what are you doing can I go like I ate all the food here can I go home like it was it was just so great to have him there and like my parents to be there they were like so proud of me and, and then when I saw my friend I think that one like she was she was so happy that I did that and her two brothers were there as well um, they drove her all the way up here to come see it so it was I just can't even describe the feeling it was incredible. I think it really put a face to the actual fundraising itself. But I remember just, you know, trying to raise money but not really knowing where it was going, not really realizing why why we were doing it. Whereas this year, knowing where the money was going to, actually seeing families that are going to be affected by the fundraising itself, it just made it that much more important for us to, to do everything we possibly could to raise as much as we could. I think it's it's a little rite of passage. It is something that, you know, I, I said, I was so proud of the team this year. This year we really knocked it out of the park and not that the other groups haven't done a tremendous job, but the guys really took fundraising seriously and combined with the girls were just under 100,000. So, I mean, just a remarkable event. It's, it's the, for BU athletics or I think even on BU's campus, it's the, for a one day fundraiser, it's the highest event by any program. So, you know, we're really proud of it. We continue to raise the bar and set a, a new, you know, new record every year.